Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a wonderful new series on a game called The Curious Expedition. The Curious Expedition is a kind of a cross between Indiana Jones and Faster Than Light. Uh, sort of a, a roguelike-ish game. I hate that term because it's not a roguelike, but it has procedural generated levels, uh, permanent death, and then the exploration and uh, kind of leveling up through items, and mixed with a little bit of, oh treasure hunting and uh, temple raiding, something like that. Uh, the game is available on the game's website. It will be available on Steam here in a couple of weeks, and I am seriously enjoying this game. This is one of my, um, surprisingly, one of my favorite games that I've played in, in months. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna take a nice little stroll through it here. Hopefully we can can complete the, the six-episode series of it. You, you go through six different levels to complete one main expedition, but we're going to get into that in a little bit. Everything you need to know about the game is available down in the video description. Uh, the Lynx website, as I said, is coming out on Steam sometime early May, late April. So you can get it through there, or you can play it directly on the game's website. Now, kind of like Don't Starve did in their uh, infancy, where they made a game, play it on the browser, and go full out. It is supposed to go full release sometime in July. So if you want to wait for that, that's cool too. Anyway, we're in Alpha 9, and we're going to rock and roll in a brand new game. So here we go. We get to choose our character. There are four that I've unlocked right now. I've unlocked more, but I've reset my progress a couple times. Um, I don't know why, I just did. The, you can choose the different ones. They have different stats, and then they have a different crew down below. So at the bottom there, you see there's two guys, a donkey, some chocolate bars, a torch, a butterfly net, three bullets, and ten machetes. And that kind of switches up a little bit. These have some climbing equipment and a monk, and I don't know what the other guy is. This guy's got a warrior, a native. Uh, you can also see they have like polyglot, which allows you to rest in the native villages and improves communications with the indigenous people. I do like playing with Mr. Darwin himself. He gets butterflies, and every time you collect a butterfly, you get more sanity. I'll explain that in a little bit. Anyway, welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expeditions of our most famous member? Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I'm afraid to tell you that you are the, not the only candidate. Aha, uh -huh. so there are four other people that are going against us. Harriet Tubman. It's a, a, great, uh, a great explorer there. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Now, go and explore. Adventure awaits. So the whole object is to go and actually temple raid these items back here, like the dinosaur egg, the butterflies, the big golden temple there, uh, the, the skull, binoculars, stuff like that you can find in the temples. The object is to bring those back to the Explorers Club, and then you can sell them to collectors, or you can donate them to um, museums to raise your fame or fortune, however you want to play. Uh, and then there are the four different people you're going against. These are like 19th century, 18th to 19th century uh, social figures, historical figures that kind of uh, have a different place in the game. So we're going to continue on, and we get to choose our destination. The only place we can go is the Tiki Taka Grasslands, a well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands. So let's do it. Now, we don't have any fame. We do have 30, 30 individual units of currency, and we're going to rock and roll. Okay, here we go. Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I arrived at the dock. The crew had preparations left to do. I spent my time on the deck, enjoying the cool breeze. A missionary approached me while we waited. He had boarded the ship and begged us to take him to a nearby native village in order to spread the word of God. So we can we can accept that or refuse that. We're going to accept this. It kind of it could be kind of neat. I accepted since I would gladly help do my part to spread the word of God. The missionary joined our expedition for a while. At last, our vessel is ready to put out to sea. So we can set sail. And is generating the world, and we're going to get thrown in here into the main screen. Aha, that's actually a decent one. The missionary had pinpointed a location on the village he wanted to visit on our map. Cool. Alright, so that is where the missionary wants us to go. There seems to be a cave down here. We also have two different, um, two different question marks we can adventure and find. We do have the screen. This is all of our characters up here, and their pluses and minuses. So this guy... He's got the health, the superstitious. He's an irrational fear of what is unknown or mysterious. That's not so good. Same there. And this is a racist. Great, he's a racist monk. That sounds terrible. 
Uh, but anyway, they have different skills, some different toughness levels. Uh, and that guy's actually pretty good. He's pretty tough, and you can see his dice there too. We'll get into dice. Maybe we'll get some combat going on. Uh, down here at the bottom, we've got the inventory screen. We have our chocolate torches, a butterfly net. We've got ammo and machetes. And then over here is our, I think this is like exploration bar. This is the number of region points, which are also the level up here, the promotion points. Now we have the total fame we've accumulated, the number of days on our expedition. This top one is the standing with the locals, and the bottom one is our sanity. Sanity is kind of the movement, how much movement we're allowed to go through in the game. So we can go a, a total of 120. So this takes six sanity to move, that takes seven. I get into there would be nine, and it uses a machete that we have if we wanted to do that. And then this compass tells us the direction of, oops, sorry, <laughs> that is because I'm using the browser version of the game. I don't have a standalone yet. So that may pop up occasionally. And I'll just uh, do my best not to. But this uh, sanity, or the compass, points us to the end temple, the final mission of the, of the level, or to magnetic mountains, which has killed me in the past. So what we need to do, you can usually sleep at these villages too. And sleeping does restore some of the sanity. So what we'll do is we'll kind of go to this one, and then we may go over to here and up to there, and then we could go back to that. Uh, that might be a good thing to do. Uh, we may run out of sanity, but we do have some chocolate that could help raise it up. So let's go. Let's go to there. We're going to travel on. We can come down here. Oh, there's another one there. This could be good. It could be a lot of stuff here. And we can now explore the cave. Good. We found a cave. The entrance led deep into darkness. We need a torch to explore its secrets. Hopefully there's no dragons in here. Oh, wow. There's weird things. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. As we explored the cave, we stumbled into a dead end. It seemed to be used in the natives of this region as some sort of ceremonial tomb. Inside were mummified corpses. Okay, let's investigate. Many of the mummies are falling apart, so it could be of it could not be of any value. However, after a thorough investigation, we managed to find one that is still intact. Yes, we're looting that. Oh, nasty! We're actually gonna take a uh, take the mummy. Wow. I've not actually done that one yet. I have not seen that before. So we need to go to the left. This may be our final shrine that we need to go to. Uh, let's circle over here. That's going to take us to 146 of our remaining 106. Let's do it. Let's go there. Let's go to this one first. We'll travel up there. Isabel Bird unlocked. Okay. Traveling slowly. And then we do get... We do get butterflies, and uh, Mr. Darwin, he has a butterfly enthusiast, so we gain five sanity every time we collect a butterfly. Butterflies also give us fame when we get back to the main village. So hopefully we can get some good butterflies. What is this? Healing Springs. Hmm. I have not done that either. Finding all the different events that I haven't seen. Awesome. Let's explore those springs. Hmm. We arrived at the natural hot springs. The water has tasted salty. Its healing cap capabilities were more than obvious. Let's rest for the night. Oh, great. That night, we something felt wrong as we rested by the fireplace. I could swear I saw something moving by the crate with the mummified corpse we had found a few days ago. It felt like an old, forgotten evil radiated out of it. And then our, uh, our translator started behaving strangely. Great. And now they are paranoid as well as being superstitious. Okay. Let's leave, because that took us a couple days. But we did gain some more of our sanity back. Now we can go up to this one. Let's do that. Let's get out of here. Another butterfly. Good. What do we have here? Ooh, this is a stone statue. We're going to get all sorts of uh, heebie-jeebies following us. Okay, let's examine the stone statue. Ah, perfect. We came across a fascinating man-made granite statue. That looks amazing. <laughs> the skillful crafted eyes, yeah, those are skillfully crafted, seem to look right at us. Its presence felt uncomfortable, and we desired to move on. We noticed a few goods by the statue. They must have been put there by the people from a nearby village, presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. Let's examine the loot. We took a... Look at the offerings, pondering if anything useful is among them. Seems to be a sacred place. Let's loot it. Ooh, we found a Tome of Water Drain. Pedro is ripped from an ancient tome and is written in an unearthly alien letters. But for some reason, 
you know you can read it. Interesting. So we can take that and take that. You can see we don't have all of these. If we got a, like a second donkey, that would give us four more crates that we could do. Uh, but we're going to take them anyway. Oh boy. I mean, we lost two standing now. These guys are going to hate our guts, man. And the, the longer we go, the longer we take, the less fame we get as well. So we'll just keep walking through travel. I don't want to use up another machete. Let's just go to our village. Hopefully they don't try stealing the mummy that we stole. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, today we reached the village of the warrior tribe. The village has been awaiting us. They seem to know about us already. They were cautious, politely offered their help. I started translating and we were allowed to, to rest there. So we could deliver them the racist missionary that we picked up. Let's actually do that. <laughs> they wanted us to leave. They don't like us. They're plotting against us. Well, that means we had better rest for the night. Oh no! <laughs> they want the mummy. <laughs> we packed our belongings and prepared to spend the night in the natives in the campfire. There was all of a sudden turmoil against the villagers as the native pointed to one of our crates. They had noticed the mummified body which we acquired earlier and demanded that we hand it over. Nope. <laughs> we found that the mummy and was and were its rightful owners. We insisted on keeping it, which led to a Hefty argument between the villagers and us. Unable to come to an agreement, there was nothing left to do but go to the bed for night. <laughs> they really hate us. The night was quiet and peaceful. The next morning was bright and sunny. A perfect day for a new adventure. It was terribly obvious they, that we would need to leave soon, as the villagers seemed seemingly annoyed by our presence. Well, we could trade. We can open up barter and see if they have anything we'd want. Uh, this is a horn flute. Peculiar organic object that produces a faint and unnatural sound. And it can distract wildlife. So we could take, we could trade for one of those. We could trade them the mango that we found. We could trade them five mangoes for that. That might actually be a decent idea because we could sell this back at home. It's not really worth much, but mangoes are, uh, they're removed after the expedition anyway. So we could just deal that. And we aren't going to need too much more sanity. So we pretty much need to get out. So we're going to trade for that. Now we do have the horn down here. And uh, we could try recruiting someone too. Recruit a warrior, that sounds great. And a native warrior gained with us. So we're down to one. And he stayed behind a little bit. Who is a defensive warrior with good toughness. Good deal. So let's continue. And now they, they showed us where another shrine was. Oh my. We still need to go this way for the, the main temple. I wonder. I haven't... I, I haven't done a terribly long expedition in my practicing. But we're getting some decent stuff here. Oh, that's another that's another hot spring. And then that's where the final mission is. Okay. Should we go down here and then go up to the hot spring? I think I will. And then we can go to the hot spring and we can rest again, hopefully. Hey, we got another moth. Explore that shrine. Interesting. We stood before a temple comprised of stones the size of a small wagon. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Waist-high stairs led up a doorway that could accommodate an elephant. There were some white marks drawn around the entry area. Hmm. Enter the shrine. We carefully entered the well-preserved ceremonial chamber. It was truly an awe-inspiring sight. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its center. Let's investigate that. Oh, golden mask. Huh. While we are here, might as well take something with us. I like what you're thinking. A mask of pure gold. It seems to use for sacrificial ceremonies. I'm taking that. You better believe I will. Oh, great. And now we have someone else going crazy. Oh my, it's something special. I would not leave empty-handed. We secured the treasure. Suddenly, a loud noise came from the altar. We ran outside, holding our heads in pain as the sh shrine collapsed. Okay. Let's get up here. Hopefully, we can get away from this thing for nothing. Oh. Okay. Now the villagers are mad at us. <laughs> Let's explore the springs. We're going to rest overnight. And we got everyone. Okay. It was pitch black. Started staring into the campfire. I could swear I felt a faint whisper coming from the crate with the mummified corpse we'd found a few days ago. This thing was cursed. And we would be too if we kept carrying it. <laughs> okay, sleeping. Resting one day, two days, three days, four days. Okay, we're going to leave. We got 54. Someone's excited. And this is going to take us four, three machetes and 47. 
of R54 to get there. Let's do it. I'm going to go slowly in case something happens. Stay away from the, the guy who hates our guts. Stay away from this dude, too. And we can continue traveling. Let's do it. Got another butterfly. We have 14. Yeah, <laughs> we made it there just perfectly. We only have six sanity left. I, I like it. That's our final point. So let's explore this. Hopefully our warrior will stay with us. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they go back to um, go back to their village. And they hate us. Look at that. It's boiling red. I think we done well. We couldn't believe our eyes. We saw the golden pyramid. We had survived. We're going to enter the pyramid. Ah, Haffy approached me and said she could not follow me to the civilized world. Great. That's too bad. She didn't really do anything for us. But we did get 60 fame. From the Golden Pyramid, we found the seven butterflies for another 35 more. But it took us 65 days. So we got a total of 30 fame out of the deal. Cool. So if we finish this exploration expedition, we get to pick a new trait. Triumph. It's a welcome home party. When we bring back our mummy and all sorts of other fun stuff. Cartographer. Increases the gained, the gained compass accuracy when encumbering fields. Cool. Oculate vision which increases the radius of the revealed map area when analyzing stone circles. I haven't found one, like in three hours of play, so I don't actually know what that does. And then heavier carrier, gain two more inventory spots. You better believe I'm taking that. Some of those levels, you, you really get a lot of loot, too. All right, so they got uh, Marcus Garvey, got 83. Harriet Tubman was 91. Isabella Bird, 120. And Don brought in 130. Eight fame. Wow. So now, now the object is we can sell these different items we brought back, and we can either get fame from it by selling it to the museum or giving it to the museum, or we can get funds by auctioning it off. Or we can keep it. We can keep something. <laughs> we could bring the mummy with us the rest of the, the mission if we wanted to. But I'm going to gift the mummy to the museum. That's going to give us 60 points, 60 fame, and that's going to rank us way up here. Gonna tied with Harriet Tubman. Very good. We also have a piece of paper here, this wonderful piece of paper. We can also gift to the museum. That'll boost us up a little bit more. And then we have the, the horn flute. Let's gift that as well. It'll bring us up to 131. <laughs> Shoot. So here's the deal. This golden mask is worth a lot of fortune. We can get a huge, a huge boost on uh, Mr. Dion. Dion? fortune or we could sell it because we need a little money and I'm gonna do that <sighs> I hope that works out for us I hope that works out well so the next thing is going on the next mission we can choose on which expedition we want to go to unforgiving grasslands or the old dry lands one is easier one's a little more harsh I think the harsher it is the more reward there is but there's also a lot more risk we're gonna go ahead and do that next time in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this game. Uh, definitely check it out. All the links are down below in the video description, as I said before. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you next time.